Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm a senior technician and the warranty specialist over here at Volbike. Today we are going to go over LED panel replacement, which is basically the little lights that light up on the top of your Volt bike retention battery system that tell you the, the charge indicator. More than likely, if you are at this step, you have already performed a discharge, or sorry, a voltage test on your battery, uh, and you've spoken with one of the staff members here, and we have ascertained that a failed panel is the cause for your battery. Uh, for this task, you're gonna need a few things. Obviously, number one, your battery. Uh, number two, anytime you're working with electrical components, not a bad idea to have some rubber gloves on hand to present your, prevent yourself from getting shocked. Uh, number two, I like to have a set of needle nose pliers, you're going to need a number one Phillips. I'm actually using a number one Phillips on an electric screwdriver here just to sort of speed up the disassembly process. And then of course you're going to need your replacement LED panel. So this will show up just like this on the mail. Uh, in the mail. A couple of things to note, excuse my dirty fingers by the way, that's from working on bikes all day. There will be a little button here that lies underneath this little rubber cap. If for some reason it has been damaged in the post and that little plastic piece is not working, the system will not function. So you will have to get back in touch with us. I have seen that happen on very rare occasions, but just something to be prepared for there. Okay, so we're gonna dig right into this. Uh, again, anytime you're working with uh, lithium batteries, you wanna make sure you're in a dry environment. Uh, lithium itself is a fairly volatile chemical and we don't want it getting wet. And obviously it's, it's a battery so that Kind of goes without saying, but it's good to, to lay that out on the table. So first things first, we're actually going to be removing the cover plate off of the top side of the battery. That's obviously the side with the LED panel. And it is simply done by removing the four number one Phillips screws on each corner there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by doing that. So for the fourth bolt here, we're gonna to wanna to be mindful of the port that actually plugs into the bicycle. You can see there is a positive and negative port there. You do not wanna connect those. You will cause an arc, potentially blow a fuse or blow the battery management system. And uh, you know, in extreme cases, potentially cause a fire. So do be very mindful of putting a screwdriver into this one here. You only wanna get the screw, not connect those two terminals together. So now I've extracted the top. You can see we have our handle. Right here is the LED panel in question. We've got a fuse off to the side. Um, you will need to remove the one, two, three, four screws there. Now before I do anything, it's not a bad idea to take note of the orientation of these particular plugs. You're gonna wanna make sure these are replaced in the exact same order or your battery will not function. So you can see there is a one, two, three, four prong little connector on the side there, as well as there are a number of double connectors. The two double connectors thankfully only go in the one spot. It's pretty hard to mess this up. As you can see on the back side, there it is with the connectors and without. Obviously the orientation of the board is quite crucial so that your USB port actually lines up. So we're gonna go ahead and just pry out these guys here. Again, this is a number one Phillips, take your time. Don't strip the hardware or you're gonna have a bit of a nightmare trying to get it to work. So one screw at a time. I like using a magnetic screwdriver for this just because you won't drop your fasteners back inside the battery. Keep your workspace neat and organized and you'll have a much higher degree of success and you won't lose pieces, which is always beneficial to putting things back together. So now I usually like to extract the screws first before I pop out the panel and that will give me a little bit better of a reach to these connections here. These can be a little bit stiff to remove occasionally, so just be persistent, just be patient. It just takes a slight wiggle and then remove. Now, if you're confused about the orientation of this, unplug one, plug it into the next. So it's fairly 
idiot proof in my so eloquent words. So I've replaced one with the other. Again, just a short wiggle. Patience and persistence. You don't want to break these wires. They are fairly thin gauge. Boom. And now you can see I've got the two that actually connect itself to itself, so you can just remove those. Again, just a slight little wiggle. And those come out no problem. And now you can see there is actually a groove on one side that actually fits a slot on those connectors, so that you can't really mess up the orientation, thank God. There. And then usually you can actually test it right there before replacing it into the battery. Okay, so now you're obviously going to want to line up that USB port with the outlet. So I usually do that first, just like that. And then as you drop it down, the screw holes should line right back up. And it's just a matter of putting those screws back in. So sometimes you've kind of got to finagle it because you only have a short distance of wire here. So line up the holes as best as you can. And go ahead and start putting screws back in. Again, this is where a magnetic screwdriver can be most beneficial. You can actually stage it on there before you place them back in there. Nice and snug. You don't want it vibrating itself loose, but you don't want to screw it so hard that you split apart the panel either. So, again, just take your time. Okay, and then last but not least, we're going to replace the cover. Again, being mindful of any wires, we don't want to get those caught. There is a little bit of a rubber gasket as well here, which will help with water retention. We want to make sure that's all seated correctly. So the hand goes on the outside, and I'll just visually inspect, make sure everything looks right. And then it's just a matter of replacing those Phillips screws. And there you have it, LED panel replacement on the retention battery system. Thanks for watching.